Uh, uh, Cynthia just finished the, the race. Uh, Cynthia and Limu um, uh, came out on top uh, two hours, 33 minutes in a second. That was the official time. But she looks like she just went out for a morning jog. She looks like she's unfazed by this. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah. And I'm, first of all, I just want to keep all my gratitude and and all thanksgiving to God for what he has really done for me. Secondly, I want to appreciate all the organizers for this race of Honolulu, the organizers, the race organizer, and the, the old team, the, the coordinators who make this race to be successful. I'm very, very proud of them. And also giving me a chance to come and compete in Ololu Marathon, being my first debut, and also to have come to one this day. I'm so happy, I'm so great. Yeah. <laughs> Cynthia, we want to voice our appreciation for putting on such a great show. It was tremendous to watch you out there. When, when did you know that you had this, that, that you were going to indeed be the winner? Towards, as we, as we are around 35 kilometers, mm -hmm. Before that five, around 30 kilometers, the, we had left the, the other lady behind and she was behind us. And as we, as we continue running up to that five kilometer, that's where we were with one of my colleagues. And when I just ended that five kilometer, I knew that I, I was feeling strong and I knew that all, it's only seven kilometers that is remaining. And I had in my mind that I love to push, I love to persevere for this few kilometers and to come to win this race. Now, Cynthia, this is her, your first marathon, but once again, this is a former medalist at the World Half Marathon Championships, one of the great runners on the planet. Did anything about the distance, about the marathon, surprise you today? Any surprises in how the way it felt? Sometimes uh, I've been hearing from my colleagues that that five kilometer that is our full marathon starts but to me yes I, I paired in my mind that that will not make me feel not to finish the race but I, I had to give myself a lot of encouragement I have to have, have my personal strength and say that even if that five kilometer people say marathon starts from there i said no i have to push it i have to believe on myself and since i trained for it i i i, I was I, I had a lot of hopes that I'll, I'll finish so yeah. much of the marathon is a mental mental game yeah it's about mental yeah and the other thing is i we all would give our condolences to owen anderson your your coach your mentor almost a father figure in east lansing michigan where you stay when you race in the united states did you have owen in your heart today taking you through this journey yes i had because since the beginning of this year I've, re I've been requesting him to end me a marathon before the year has and he has been promising me, me that he love to make sure that I run a marathon before the end of this year and since he left the us two weeks ago I was so shocked about his death but I, I, I had to give myself a I have to encourage myself and say, since so when has left, he has finished his race. But for us who are, who are still alive, we have to fight for it. We have to go for it. And I said, I have to run good. I have to run good. Even if I'll not win, I have to run my own race, a good race. To, to memorize about Owen. Right, yeah. I think I think he, he would be very proud of you. He's honored by your performance today. Yeah. Thank you so much. You ran a tremendous race. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. But I appreciate it. We, we should mention, Cynthia, first time in Honolulu, first time running a marathon. Uh, planning to be back next year? Yes, God willing, next year. <laughs> if you will welcome me, yeah. I'm ready to come back. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Great. You. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank Congratulations. You thank you, Mahalo. Thanks, Cynthia. <laughs> See, very, very